This is Gemini 3 Flash, the latest model from Google and the model is so good that you shouldn't be fooled by the word flash here. And this model is at times better than Gemini 3 Pro. And before you think this is benchmark hacking, Google DeepMind member confirmed that there are some of the reinforcement learning that they recently found out was inbuilt inside this model which they couldn't put in Gemini 3 Pro. And the best use case for this model, there are a lot of different use cases that you can use this model. While most of the people would say that the most underrated use case for this model is multi-agent system, I'm here to tell you that this model is probably the gold standard for document OCR. So if you've got a bunch of document corpus lying around and then you want to digitize them, I would say that you can blindly go use Gemini 3 Flash because the model has got the best trade-off between speed, accuracy and cost. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of demos, but we are first going to understand what this model is and what kind of benchmark the model is doing. And then finally, we're going to see the demo. When they compare it with Gemini 3 Pro, which is their flagship model, the largest model, the most thinking model, the most capable model, you can see the price difference is huge. I mean, this is four times cheaper than Gemini 3 Pro. So you can see Gemini 3 Flash, the input pricing is 50 cents for 1 million token. And Gemini 3 Pro, the input token is $2 per million token input. And the same thing with the output token as well. So Gemini 3 Pro is $12 while Gemini 3 Flash is just $3. So it's four times cheaper, like you're going to have a massive savings. And there are a couple of benchmarks you can immediately notice that this model is either on par with the best model, which is Gemini 3 Pro, or even there are cases where the model is better. And two such cases that you should keep in mind is one, the agentic use cases. So like I said, a lot of people would immediately tell that this model is the best suited model for multi-agent system. I mean, that is quite debatable because not just you want the most accurate model in the multi-agent system, you want the fastest model, but also you want the most reliable model. You don't want to get a lot of errors. So in that regard, I would say the model is not GA, not generally available for you to get it. This is still a preview model if you want to use it with the APA, but you can see that the model's benchmark is really good with tool use cases like um, the uh, Tau bench, the Toolathon. So these benchmarks indicate that the model has good tool calling capability. But what I wanted to highlight in this video is primarily OCR. OCR stands for optical character recognition and you can see Omni Doc Bench 1.5. This is a benchmark that understands, uh, you know, how far the distance of the model's per uh, performance, the accuracy from the actual prediction of uh, whatever the OCR document is. And then if you see that Gemini 3 Pro has scored 0.115 and Gemini 3 flash is 0.12. So you can see this model is on par, almost on par with Gemini 3 Pro. I mean, the lower is better because this is, you're calculating the error and it is better than GPT 5.2 with even extra high reasoning. It is better than Claude Sonnet 4.5. It is better than uh, any other model that you have in the world right now, but no other model would come closer to this especially because of the speed of the model and also the costing of the model. So even if you find the better model, you might most likely spend more time in thinking tokens or you might be spending more, more money. But in this case, the model is at the best intersection between speed, accuracy and also costing. And I'm going to show you a very simple demo here. So this is a document and this document, I got it from the very latest Mistral OCR3 announcement. This announcement just came a couple of days back and uh, the, this model is supposed to be a very good enterprise model. I personally know a lot of people who love Mistral and uh, they've been using Mistral OCR for a lot of their internal use cases. And now this Mistral OCR 3, like a step above the existing OCR models. You can see when you compare it with like DeepSeq OCR, Doc, Google Doc AI, Azure OCR, uh, you can see across all these benchmarks, this is a good model. So this document was used by their own example. Now I'm using the same document with Gemini 3 Flash and I'm not even using any crazy prompt. I've given a very simple prompt. You are an OCR model and your duty is to extract text and return in the markdown format. I've enabled the thinking level to be high, but again, you can play with that if you want OCR to be um, not taking a lot of time. And I've kept the media resolution as same as it is. And this is Gemini 3 flash preview model. And the input image for reference, you can see here, there are a couple of nuances. One thing that both the models have gotten it wrong is like you can see as a human eye, you can say that this is form number 469.2. And if you go to Mistral, you can see that it says 463, not 469, 463. And Google's uh, own Gemini 3 flash that we are discussing here, it says 169. Honestly, like I find Google here slightly better because mistaking this nine for three seems like a much uh, worse error 
than assuming that the four is one because it, it almost looks like one. So if we leave that as it is, um, then there are a couple of things that I wanted to check and the model has done a pretty good job. So you can see here Atlantic division nursing department, March 1, 1920. So Atlantic division and uh, you can see March 1, 1920 nursing department. And all these things are like just as it is there in the document, it is available. One more example, let us say, so if not volunteer, what salary per month is promised? This is approximately $70 as you can see here as a human being for question number 11 and question number 11, if you see, if not volunteer, what salary per month is promised? And you can see Mistral has also done a pretty good job. I'm not like putting down Mistral there, but I believe that if you want to stay in one particular ecosystem, like for example, using Gemini for a lot of use cases or you're into GCP ecosystem, you're into the Vertex ecosystem, then I would say like Gemini 3 Flash, the speed at which this provides this answer is amazing. The model can do a pretty good job. I'm going to start a new conversation and then show you a live demo so you can understand how much time it takes for you to give the same response back. And in this case, we're going to use a doctor's prescription. So the doctor's prescription we are currently using has got multiple languages and uh, we are going to see how the model is doing. So I'm going to go with the same prompt. You are a multilingual OCR agent extract this document and give it as a text markdown. So I'm not forcing any structured prompt here. I'm just leaving it as it is. This is the input document we are using. So as you can see here, it's got Bengali language, which is predominantly spoken in Bangladesh and part of India. And you can see a couple of medicines available here. So I, I honestly, like it's pretty hard for me to understand any medicine that has been written here, but I'm going to trust Google to see if any of these things closely correlate here. And uh, we have done and the model has already finished the job. It has taken 25 seconds in this particular case. So because this model is multilingual, unlike a lot of other OCR models, that is where VLMs, vision language models actually exceed, um, excel in uh, performing better than your traditional OCR models. Traditional OCR models are primarily based on languages, but because VLMs are trained with multilingual data, it is much better. So in this case, the model has extracted the Bengali language and then it is saying what is the English equivalent of it. It has even extracted the Bengali mobile numbers so it can understand those things. Now, primarily looking at the tablet details, you can see Omidon is there. So O-M-I-D-O-N and then this is, I guess, probably one time in the morning, I guess, uh, or one time, one time, one time. So let's see what the model is saying. The model is saying the dosage is one, one, one. So that means after breakfast, after lunch, after dinner, and it also has got an instruction and uh, it is specifically saying the instruction is before meals. So this is one place where the model has tried to be slightly geeky and then add extra detail but it also extracted the Bengali uh, instruction and then given it to, to us. The second uh, tablet uh, you can see here is on Nix and it's one plus zero plus one and model has done the same thing and there is like a ditto here that means that this has to be eaten before meals and the model has done an understanding of that as well. So I believe this is a great model for OCR. Not a lot of people are using it for OCR. So if you are using it for OCR, let me know in the comment section what you feel about this model. But again, you can use this model for anything that you want. It's a very good model. But if you're not using it for OCR, you're missing out a lot. That's why I wanted to make this video. Let me know what you feel about this. See you on the video. Happy prompting.